Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Tuba Player Negative AE. Today we are playing Snake Eater Mage, throwback to the past, uh, back when we were trying to defeat the game with Mage, and it, it, he's kind of like my favorite character anyway. Uh, despite, I, I mean, I guess it's popular demand, popular demand, popular uh, vote that he's the most popular character. When you look on the forums, it's like Mage, Mage, Mage. Mage is a really good character. I think he needs more, more. I think he needs more. I'll be honest though, it, it's been a rough, 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 rough. Wow, what? It's been a rough time so far. Is Did I just block myself from... There's no way. Uh, it's been a rough time today. Like, I I was... I started out like... Are you serious? I started out not uh, doing okay, and then like... As I, as I was playing Vagante during the day, I just got progressively and progressively worse. So, I mean, take this at face value, we might be dying at forest here. Are you kidding me? I didn't kill him? I saw the gold, and I saw like a dead green thing, and I was like, oh, I killed him. Uh, but obviously not, and that just goes to show you that I'm taking free damage today. So, if these enemies want to step up their game a little bit, I could die in the forest. Uh, I got scratched by head. Um... Yeah, but how are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is about Vacante. It, it's fun to watch, too. Like, especially if I don't not finish my sentences. Like, a bunch of times, like, I'll just, I just won't finish my sentences. And it's a darn shame, because even I, like, go back and I'm like, wow, what was he about to say? This is so annoying. Wow. Can you... Oh, my goodness, dude. Of course he's not dead yet. What is happening? How did that guy die before that guy? Oh my goodness, my min-max damage is all over the place. I need to get on top of that. I need uh, more intelligence or something. Uh, since we are Snake Eater Mage, we're going Alchemist. Uh, it's just a thing. It's, it's good too. Like You can almost guarantee yourself a good run as Alchemist. Because you get uh, two potions anyway. This is just bullcrap for slimes. This whole situation is bullcrap. Hurry up. Yep, I know I know that you're coming, dude. <laughs> Ow. Freaking I'm terrible now. For some reason, like, ooh. Almost didn't grab onto the thing. It's been a bad day. It's been a bad Vagante day. But I'm gonna play Vagante anyway, because you can only you can only learn your faults when you play on your bad days. Okay. Let's do that. I almost just jumped on the spikes. My mechanical skill is just gone. It's just gone. I don't know why. I don't know. Some days, sometimes you, it's just... It's like when you're playing a sport. Like, some days you're just really good, and sometimes you're just not. Oh, this is terrible. I hope I can defeat this guy before he gets in. Yes, I can. Slimes are, slimes are relatively weak. I shouldn't worry too hard. Um, this is really good for defeating dragon. If dragon's hard to defeat, I don't know if he's even gonna be that hard to defeat. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm wait. I'm actually super surprised that that happened. I threw that bomb in a perfect location to where I killed Dragon and avoided this. That was really lucky. I'm not gonna lie, that was really lucky. <laughs> there was there was no calculation there. I just tossed that thing. Uh, this might be a. <laughs> I was gonna say this might be a shopkeep kill. But as mage, I don't, and especially as with my luck today, I don't feel like it's really a good thing. Okay. Is he just attached to a, a barrel? I don't. I don't even know. Sometimes, organizers are so weird. I should just keep. I should just do that every time. Yeah, chicken, you're gonna die. There's really nothing I can do for you. If you're still alive when I come back for you, then... 
then I'll be it. Good news is we we didn't have to fight Dragon, so I mean that's always a plus. Even though he's not that strong, he's not a very strong. Is there no? There's no um spikes here. That's a plus. There's always a plus, and we get two potions of speed, which isn't too bad. Assuming we get other potions besides potion of speed, if we just get potion of speed, sometimes you get the game just ran RNGs you like way too much speed potion. I had that happen like two runs ago, two practice runs. <coughs> oh, I like that a lot. Lightning resisted a little bit garbage. I didn't go and get chicken for some reason, uh, partly because I knew. He's probably dead somewhere. Chemical transmutation. I don't think that you can do two potions of the same type. You need two potions of different types, which is fine. It's just it's it's kind of unlucky that we got two speed potions, but there's no guarantee that we will have gotten a regen and or ooh nice. Sometimes walls just look suspicious. Regen and or ooh K okay. hello. Oh good, I, that was my fault. I probably should have um, backed up a little bit before trying to zap there. But I didn't. Increased chance of finding magic items is always good, especially for mage. Spesh for mage. That's, that's a weird thing to do. I have this weird habit where I, where I turn to, cause when you're attacking you move you could you you slide a little bit right so in like advanced vagante tactics if when you're moving forward and you slide like this you're still you still get to move while uh doing your spell you just move a little bit slower so the goal is to go that way and cast your attack this way and then while you're your cat that animation that goes off you can move backwards so if you can hit if you can hit oh my goodness if you can attack that way and then move that way, you can slowly slide away from their sword. I don't know if I spoke English at all there. Oh, really? Really? I know that's what Vagante planned me to do. Gosh darn it. I should have been more careful. More careful. It's, it's very easy to get risky. Very easy. And the game is... Um, are you serious? What are you? <clears throat> we have a dog in the house and he's barking right now. So if you hear a dog, that's that's what it is. I don't know why. He just likes to bark at random times. Which is fine. But it's really not. That's not bad. This is better. Double jump? Double jump is like a saving grace of everything oh that's this is stupid oh stupid okay please no okay fairy I'm gonna need you to come over here I'm gonna break that hurry up and dob da da die I never get the I, I didn't get the point of this scholar statue. I know I know how to I know what each other statue does. But scholar's one that it's just eluded me. Uh, cause whenever I play mage, I uh, I try and go spellcaster just to see if uh, maybe it's like a thing where it gives you more charges on your spells. It's not that. It's not it's actually not that. Which is weird. I, I can't think of a thing that it could do. It doesn't increase your intelligence. It doesn't increase your spell charges, like I said. Ah, that was my bad. Gosh darn it. Did we did we ever eat those pork chops over there? Did, or were they on the last floor, maybe? And I forgot to eat them entirely. Oh, we have fairy, though. Oh, yeah, we... Okay, that was dangerous. I don't know why I decided... Oh, because boss is down there. Oh, uh, we have fairy over there. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's eat pork chops. Um, we have fairy, but darkness is on the same floor as fairy, so we're gonna use the darkness. Uh, assuming 
not even assuming, like, even if we take a bunch of damage here on Goblin, we should still sacrifice Fairy to the Darkness, because it gives you a massive stat boost to everything except for health. Um, that being said, do we need... Actually, that being said, Fairy seems very situational. I'll have to... We'll... we'll We'll have to do like an advanced, like our next tip guide will be like advanced tactics. If you guys haven't seen the tip guide already, uh, you should go check out the tip guide. If you're still here, definitely go check out the tip guide. I'm doing like a series where like, it's, it, they're small episodes for people that can't watch. Because I know the Vigante episodes that I do are super long and not every, not even I have time to watch the whole thing. Uh, and poss that's possibly because I've already done it, like I've already... I've already seen what's gonna happen, so it's a little bit weird for me to rewatch it. Uh, but it, it, they're hour-long episodes sometimes, uh, or 40-minute long episodes, and uh, a lot of the time people don't have time to watch it. So I have these two-minute episodes that are much easier to digest and they give you tips so if you play Vagante yourself or know someone that plays Vagante it's definitely interesting to know or to note I like to think that I'm pretty okay at this game it's it I, I've I've played it for like what 52 episodes can you oh my goodness this goblin is being the worst he's being the worst right now he's jumping in like the worst ways so I have to come to him Look at those death animations, though. They're so good. Uh, but yeah, I don't need to... Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't need to sacrifice Fairy to the Darkness. Cause, okay, so let's think about what the mage needs and what the mage doesn't need. Um, and we'll make a decision. So if we look at the stats... Uh, every other class needs a mixture of these three. Which is weird. I, I don't know. Rogue more dex, uh, knight more strength, uh, and every class could use as much vitality as possible, which is why fairy is good. Uh, then you have intelligence at nine. What do we get from this chest pickup? So hold on, Let, let's let's okay. Before we decide if we should give fa fairy to vitality or fairy to other thing, please no. Okay. I saw gold over there, so I was hoping that the trigger got activated, and if it didn't, we would have just died there. I would have uploaded this. Because honestly, um, ooh, Featherfall. Good, we have Transmution uh, up right now? Yes, we do. We got Potion of Regen. We're Snake Eater, so we're going to save that um, until we get to the end of... Oh, yes. Until we get to the end of... Or run potion of poison hey we're doing well for ourselves potion <laughs> compassionate familiar oh my goodness this is working out marvel marvelously uh, fame pillar ice ball magic missile things we're not interested in that's that looks very uninteresting down there as well uh, we could possibly try and upgrade our stats on the darkness considering we do have fairy and a bunch of books uh, let's let's go defeat everything on the floor before we start thinking about doing anything uh, with the darkness and trying to increase our stats. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with uh, dying to like a Gorgonai right now. So let's let's combine these two, which will give us a potion of defense. Whoa. Gives us a decent amount of strength. Uh, we don't need strength, but it gives us a decent amount of it. I'm surprised I didn't take damage there, honestly. I was very sloppy. Oh, wow. Very sloppy there, too. Well, at least I killed both of them. We get a vitality from something. Which is cool for us. We're gonna buy the potion since we are potion mage. Gonna start just combining straight potions. 
Strength with defense gives us another regen potion, which is awesome. I will take all of the regen potions. Uh, that being said, now we come over here. Since we do have fairy, we're going to sacrifice a bit of our health to the darkness, or as much as we can. Cool. Um, and then we're on our way. We'll have fairy and books to heal us all the way to full health on the next floor. Uh, which is cool to... And we're done with this floor. Then we just have worm boss to fight, which is great. We'll level up another level into our potion mage. Potions you drink have stronger effects, and then we're almost done. As soon as we defeat Worm Boss, we'll be able to go ahead and learn the the last one, which is occasionally quaff potions twice, which is when we get insane. So now our regen potions are back to being normal, and our snake eater potions are better than normal. It's damp in here. Good. I like when things are wet. Obscure sexual joke there, in case anybody wasn't paying attention. At home. This is terrible. Wow, our damage is crazy. The darkness must have just increased our strength. And we also have a decent strength item equipped. Oh, that was awesome. He couldn't move out of the way. I, like, I froze him on top of the, the trap. I mean, I know, I know he would have died probably anyway, but it was cool that that happened. Do we have unbounded sight? Did I equip the ring, a ring with unbounded sight? No, that's increased chance of finding magic items. What does this do? That gives me unbounded sight. I'd rather have the compassionate familiar, honestly. That gives me a retaliatory. I'm not interested in no retaliatory familiars. There we go. We did get that that uh, trigger off the arrow trigger. Boom, son, get out the way. I like how compassionate familiar actually activates this stuff. Mercenary graves. Wow, it's giving us a lot of boots. It's like here, have boots. Have boots. Oh, oh you didn't have boots before. Well, now you have more boots. <clears throat> I gotta do more spell switching as mage. I mean, I'm doing it now because I'm thinking about it, but I noticed when I when I play mage before, I don't spell switch enough. So a good way to kill Gorgonize uh, right now, or the way the way the game works now, is to freeze them, have them fall to the ground, uh, and then attack them like crazy with the thing. Cool. Uh, hello. I need you to die. I'm sorry. Hey, worm boss. The only problem is uh, your your strength is not up to par. Ow! I walked right into that. I walked right into that. Worm boss is my least favorite boss, not because he's hard, but just because he spawns in walls. And that frustrates the crab out of me when he does stuff like that. Uh, don't move into a wall. Uh, jeez. And then you're stuck, like, waiting for him to come out again. Like, right here. Here's, here's exactly what I mean. He's, he goes into a wall, and then he immediately goes away. And there's nothing you can do. Granted, there's a, a majority of the time, he's pretty good about this stuff. Like, right here. This is good, it's just terrible for me. Because I I need to um, use spells, and the only two spells I have are freeze and the other thing. And the other thing is not very good in water. It's damp in here, it's dangerous for mage.
Perfect. It's exactly what you want when you have a situation like that. It's really good. That guy still did 8 damage to me, which is weird, but that's fine. We have enough potions to keep us alive. Uh, an alchemist mage is awesome. Alchemist mage is the best. Alchemist mage is so cool. I really like alchemist mage. I've liked them since the very beginning, and they haven't touched him, so I'm super happy about that. It, he's he's a little bit crazy too, especially if you play play it smart. And I think that's maybe why they haven't touched him is because like you have to play alchemist mage smart, and it's not the it's not the mage of choice for people playing mage. Like people playing mage want to do a bunch of damage, uh, and that's not what alchemist mage is about. Alchemist mage is more about. Um, Sustainability, which is great, and, and especially since we have now we have Compassionate Familiar. Uh, Compassionate Familiar is just adding on to that sustainability that we do have. Um, and a lot of what uh, the mage, the alchemist mage is, is also making sure you have enough confidence to not drink your potions early. Okay, so I wonder. I wonder how that's going to work, right? I'm not going to try it, but the spikes are beneath water, right? So, technically, you should land in the water first and then be on your way. I don't know. Lightning Wand, uh, Freezing Cestus, and Coins Seem to Heal Injuries is an instant buy. Uh... Yeah, it's nothing compared to that, dude. So now we have uh, coins that seem to heal us, uh, which is very helpful for our sustainability. And since that's all we are, you're dead. You're going to die. Ow. See that? Oh, are you kidding me? Just freaking kill him! Oh my goodness, I ran into him like eight times. I ran in. I just ran straight in like, like I wanted a hug. Luckily, coins seem to heal us, and we do have compassionate familiar, so we're pretty set when it comes to health. Uh, and then any any potion that we get that's not regen or snake eater, we just transform into regen or snake eater. Uh, with the addition of being able to quaff things twice. Our sustainability is uh, almost godlike. Almost, almost, I would say it's the best sustainability in the game. Which is why he's my favorite character. There we go. Come on, just die. Okay, it's hard to water fight. It's really hard to water fight and talk at the same time. There we go. Now we're doing stuff. People in my house are always loud. I always hear them, and so I always wonder if you guys can hear them. Uh, because they're always super loud. And I always like, hey, I'm going to go record, and then that's when they're at their loudest, right? Like, they're like, hey, I'm going to go do something real quick. I need it to be pretty quiet. And they're like, uh, no. Oh, you. Do we use the key already? Yeah. We're out of here. We don't need to do anything else. We use the key already. We got what we wanted. We have these clogs. Our current clogs are pretty good. Uh, let's find identify real quick and see what this is. Triple jump is even better than these. It's that's a new thing. That's a new thing that they just added is triple jump. In patch 42A they added that. All right, so here's where we get OP. Now we have occasionally cough potions twice, which means uh whatever you want to heal, you can just heal it. Oh good, I'm glad I discovered what scroll that was. Scroll of Recharge. We don't really need the Recharge scroll. This is going to give us Flame Aura. Did we even have a Mask yet? 
No, we didn't. Minus a fire resist. I guess that's fine. <laughs> we are snake eaters, so we can drink all the poison potions. So that's always a plus. And so now we're just on the search for poison. Oh, good. We need to switch to this if we're going to be doing stuff. If we're going to be doing uh, wisp stuff. We need, uh, we need to switch to that. Also, I can't wait to see Golem Boss again. He's like my new favorite boss. Ever since they added him. Hello. Hello. That's the, yeah, see that's the only thing with this with Alchemist Mage. You don't have the damage necessary to do uh, things that other people can do at this level. Uh, so you're stuck just uh, relying on your sustainability overall to get you through everything. Cool. <laughs> and with coins seem to heal in injuries, uh, we're going to be doing a lot better. Alright, so let's get rid of this. We're not going to use that ever. We're done with these shoes. They're not def definitely not as good. Floor phasing may be helpful in the later run, but we're not going to go ahead and... More boots. What do you want? That's unfortunately going to take the cake over triple jump. We'll keep the double jump boots because these, get these give us a negative poison resist, and that's something that most enemies in the game do. High jump I can't deal with. We'll get rid of this since we have way better armor anyway. It's going to give us a demon slayer, a dragon slayer. That's insane. Good. Because uh, we don't use dragon slayer at all. So uh, we're just going to get rid of it right away. Um, we'll get rid of these triple jump boots. And it's going to give us a bow, which we don't have yet. So that's a plus. Gives us two luck, which I will take. Uh, what else? What else is happening? What else is happening? Death becomes easier to encounter is something that I will stray away from now that I have the achievement. I don't, I don't know if I get death becomes easier to encounter. Oh, good. We have Robber McRobbins coming up. Coming up over here, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to be rude. <laughs> F. Are you serious? Come over here. I dare you. I dare you. Crawl in my space. I, you have a web here, so I can't move. Thank you. You and your stupid freaking webs, dude. You and your stupid webs. Oh my goodness. Spiders have the best AI in the game, dude. They're just so good. Oh crap. Yo, what's going on? Listen. Listen, my man. Stop it. Please. Oh, Golem. Yo, what's going on, man? Dude, I freaking love Golem. He's so good now. He's... Golem boss looking that way makes me want to fight him every time. Look at how good he looks. Look at all of that sexiness and one boss. He just looks so good. Wow, that was scary. I was like... <laughs> After like the fourth hit, I was like, uh, hello? But we got him. We got him. It's all over. It's all over. We quaff a regen, and we didn't quaff the regen, which is awesome. And now we still have the same amount of potions that we had before. Which is why Mage gets a little bit ridiculous at, at, said, at this point. I should, um,. I think that they should buff uh, Spellcaster and Wand to be up to par with uh, Alchemist and, um, oops, oh good. I wanted to switch to Ice Icicle, freeze him, and then switch to Thing, but I ended up just switching two times. Okay, so this is going to be a weird boss fight. 
Hello? Okay. I'll just go screw myself. That's fine. Ow. Can you come down here so I don't have to... Dude, just fall down. Okay. This is warrants of this. Okay. <laughs> I do want to fight Golem Boss. Oh, wow. Let's do that. Come on. Come on. Does he take less, less damage in that form? He looks good. He looks so good. There we go. Come on. He looks so good, and now he has like a strategy to him. Like you don't want to attack him in his ball form. He he does. They don't have to have this awkward like blinking golem in the level that is not even like a, like apparent to anything. Chicken's dead as always. It makes all the sense in the world because he's always dead. Ow. We have sustainability though so it's not like it's not like that hurt us in any way. There we go. We gotta watch out for his tremors. He does tremor. Come on over here, dude. Why don't you roll around like a roly poly? Good. I like. I, I need to get him away from this area so when I drop down on him, he's easier to fight. There we go. He's gonna throw a golem. Are you? Are you? I want more charges for this thing. Okay. There we go. We're gonna go up, freeze him. Ow. Oh, but we got compassionate healing us for the eight. And there's one regen potion quaffed. Jesus. Okay, we need to go. Crap. I need to hit him with more... Oh, that was bad. Okay, I need to hit him with more... Um, anything. Stupid roly-poly form. Off another region. Here we go. We got a decent amount of damage off on him. I really want to kill him because he's so beautiful. They've they've tricked me, right? Like he he used to be like so ugly and like it was like ah screw it. But like watching him fight is like the best thing in the world. So now it's not as bad fighting him because he's beautiful. Fighting a boss because it's beautiful is not a bad thing. This man can't throw a boulder because there's, there's a ceiling above him. Which is cool. At least you, at least you don't have to worry about... Um, Oh, 
crap. Don't turn into a ball, dude. You're less beautiful than the ball. I'll say it. I'll be the first one to tell you. You are le you're less beautiful than that ball. Ow. This is where I'm coughing more regen potions than I should be. But at least we got compassionate to uh, to help us out. Gosh, freaking darn it, dude. Stop turning into your ball. You have enough health as it is. I don't need more time. You gonna throw a boulder? I know you are. Can you come over here and throw a boulder? Yes, perfect. Oh, dude, when are you gonna die? This is starting to feel like here is a loop, <laughs> right? It's okay. I know he's he's got to be low enough. He's got to be low some somewhere. I almost wish there was like a like he got angry like the dragon does. Like at least the dragon, you're like, oh, okay, he's at half health probably right about now. He's red. Uh, you can feel it, right? But in this one, it's like, oh my. I can't even, I can't even deal. He turns into a roly-poly. You know what he should do is he should just be melee and throw boulders the entire time for his first stage. Uh, and then when he gets, when he gets angry, right? Ow. Look at this, look at this. Oh, look at how sad that is. Look at how cool he is. He's so cool. Freaking I love Golem Boss now. They've done it. They've made they've made a boss so beautiful that now I just have to fight him every time. <laughs> I do th I I do think I'm doing terribly. Like I'm taking way more damage than I should be taking. I'm I, I need to uh the game has been very nice as far as uh, potions go, so I'm, I'm happy about that. It's definitely a plus when the game decides to help you out a little bit. Uh, I could take a thingy. Wow, what the crap? Okay, give me double jump real quick. Take a poison potion real quick. Cool. Do I have max poison resist? I do. Oh, awesome. I had no idea. Golem always jumps like he's going to try to insta-kill me. But he's, n he's not even a threat compared to... Um, Compared to the the golem guys in freaking the fourth world, like the fourth world. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh good. Oh wow, that was the luckiest break that I've ever seen. Even though he almost died, he he's, he was almost dead anyway. Gosh, I, I got really lucky during that break though. Um, we find shopkeep. No, where's Shopkeep? He's probably over there. Oh, no, we did find Shopkeep. He's over there. Um, and then we go in here. Uh, now that we've been Mac, we're Max Alchemist. Uh, we should focus on Vitality. Um, should we? Or maybe enchant? No. No, no, no. We need to focus on vitality. Uh, now that now that we have enough health or have enough potions to recover said health, we need uh, we need more vitality. These uh these wisp boss fights and stuff are gonna be hard. That golem fight took way too long. 
It should not have taken that long. This is a weird, weird sitch. Good. I'm glad that happened. A weird sitch. Spiders are the best AI ever. They're just, they're just the best AI. Whoever designed the spider AI needs to be promoted eight times. Oh my. And they're the most frustrating to fight. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Oh my. Quaff that. Quaff that and go. Quaff that and go. This is this has just been a terrible turn of events. Spiders have just ruined the entire game. This is where we die. Gosh darn it. We were having like an okay run too. Oh snap. The dodges though. Oh crap. Uh, I should have jumped again and I didn't do it. And I didn't jump again. Of course, this plant tried his absolute hardest to kill me. Oh uh, my. Things are just not going well uh, at the forest, are they? They're just not going well at the forest. Oh good. More of this. Oh good. Oh good. More of this. Oh spiders. Oh how I. Oh, how I hate you. Okay. We have a new potion over here, which we can combine real quickly with this to make a potion of poison. Uh, and then heal up because we desperately need it. That's going to give us another up. Good, 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 good. Good. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, 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 um. This whole level has been terrible. Oh, it's been a, it's been a terrible time. Oh, this whole level has been terrible. Oh, it's been so terrible. The whole level has been terrible. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my, oh my, that was just a really bad level, oh, it's just really bad, the spiders triggered into the, it was just an unlucky series of unfortunate events that happened, <sighs> and I'm having a bad day, so that doesn't help out at all with my Vagante things. Spiders transferred into Wisp Boss. Wisp Boss transferred into Plants. Plants transferred into Golem. Golem transferred into more of the Spriggans. Spriggans transferred into more of those plants. And then I had no time to fight Wisp Boss with all of my attention. And Wisp Boss is just free to do a whole bunch of damage. Granted, we did have a regen and poison potion that we could have been drinking um, to try and get up, although I don't know if it would have helped because we still would have needed to find, like, a safe place to fight him while also defeating all, oh my goodness. Anyway, um, that's been another good run. It was a good run. Uh, I wish I would have, uh, been faster with my reflexes on drinking these two, but, you know, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't seen it already... Wow, Wisp Boss just died somehow. I guess he just went off screen until he died. Um, if you haven't seen it already, go check out my tips series. I'm going to do more of those. Right now, the first episode's out. It's the Shopkeeper, so if you ever wanted to learn how to kill shopkeepers, uh, that's definitely a thing that you want to see. Uh, also, I'm going to be posting those weekly on Wednesday, so if you guys want to see that. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tubal Player Negative AE. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, let me know. Uh, leave a comment if you want to have a conversation. Subscribe if you feel necessary. And I hope you guys are all having a good rest of your day. Peace out, guys.